Oh man, we have some news and we're back. Let's go. Oh, we have our trouble. Reggie Fils, the man. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All Hello, right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing first we're back on camera there was so much dope news today i wanted to come back on camera and just give the people what they want i know y'all missed me but before we get started with all of the epic news today give the video a huge thumbs up like 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 Let's eradicate the thumbs up. If you're watching this video and if we are not at 100 likes, you're not helping the cause. 100 likes right now. Let's do it. All right, bro. Nintendo has been revealing more and more information about their next gen console not the switch oled which we thought was going to be 4k but it's just a better screen same internal specs i still haven't picked up a switch oled i might bite the bullet i bought about seven switches no lie between i have like five in my house giveaways on the channel but check out what their global president shantaru furuwaka has said he is saying that Nintendo's transition to the next gen hardware is a major concern for the company. So many things are going through my mind right now. Maybe that's why they're so hesitant to release this new console because the Switch is making that money. It's making a lot of money for the um, company right now. And so I can see why they're hesitant to bite the bullet, go ahead and take that risk of a new generation. We know what happened between the Wii and the Wii U. And so Nintendo probably doesn't want the same thing to happen again where they have a successful Wii console and their next generation console tanks. But they could do a lot to not have the same situation. And I think it's different because with the Wii, people were just picking it up to play Wii Sports. But on the Switch, not just grandmas and aunts and uncles are playing the system. Software is selling, smashing all kind of records. And so I really think Nintendo needs to launch a more powerful Switch next year, 2023, while the momentum is still going. Because one of the things that happened with the Wii between the Wii and the Wii U. The Wii momentum feigned, like it, it went down and then they tried to rekindle it with the Wii U, but by that time it was too late. I think go and get it while the getting is hot. Now, so many things that comes to my mind. They also said that they don't want to risk, risk losing the user base. They said that they don't want to risk losing the user base going from one generation to the next. And I'm telling y'all, and I hate to beat a dead horse. And I am going to bring up my dead horse gift. Achievements. Achievements. What are you talking about, Obi-Wan? What does achievements have to do anything to do with going from one console generation to the next? Let me explain. There are... Xbox fans and PlayStation fans that bought the PlayStation 5 from a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox Series X from an Xbox One simply because they accumulated achievements, trophies, and they're saying, you know what? This is the platform that my um, gaming ecosystem is tied to. I'm going to continue it on the next gen even with third-party games and I've, I've i've been um guilty of this 
when a third party game comes out, sometimes I'm more inclined, I'm gonna just get it on my PS5 because of the trophies. If a Nintendo, I'm not saying that this is the only solution, but this helps. If Nintendo wants to retain uh, some of their user base, achievements, achievements. Yes, I'm beating that dead horse. But it's interesting, interesting how Nintendo's global president has mentioned that they do have some concerns. Red flags are going from one generation to the next. Speaking of achievements, Nintendo has spoken up more on their online Nintendo Switch online. We know that Nintendo has added the expansion pack, more content, um, Nintendo 64 games. The DLC in Mario Kart 8 is pretty, pretty lit. Where's my fire gear, bro? I'm, I'm rusty. I'm rusty with the live stream, but it still works. Nope. It's here, but it's just not showing up. But the uh, they've continued to improve, but this is what Nintendo has said concerning their online that they're going to continue to expand and create new content for switch online subscription services throughout this year meaning not too far off we're going to be getting more content for the nintendo switch online which is pretty dope I'm, I've always been the odd man out, I feel, on an island by myself when it comes to Nintendo Switch Online. I've always said it's pretty dope. The old school NES, old school Super Nintendo games, I've always, always been, I'm here for it. This is what I grew up on. This is my core. And so, I'm excited when other dudes are like, Nintendo, what are you doing? Why are you releasing these old games? I'm hyped. I'm like, this is great. And so... Uh, more content is coming, but I do think they needed to actually add more, not just games, but features such as messaging. You can't even message your friends on the Switch. Messaging, um, voice chat, that's more, and the Switch is capable of it. But Nintendo has left it up to individual developers to implement in their games, like Fortnite on the Switch, you can voice chat, but some games you can't. They need to have it on the system level. And that's what I'm talking about with achievements. Have things on the system level tied to your account. Part of me is wondering, the Switch may not have enough RAM to do all of that, and that's where the next gen console comes in. But Nintendo has confirmed, this isn't a rumor, this is facts. They have confirmed more content is coming this year for the Switch online service, which is dope 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 next news item bro this was pretty big when i first saw this nintendo has dropped the price for the nintendo switch from 299 to 259 but apparently it was short-lived. It was just for a small, a brief period. I saw this um, on Twitter, actually. Shout out to Super Metal Dave 64 I saw it on his Twitter account. I looked it up. IGN reported it. But since then, they updated it. There was a post at 9 a.m. And it was updated at 1.40 p.m. That the price is back to $300. So I don't know really what happened. I don't know why they had this temporary price drop. You could have walked into stores, gone online, and it was $2.59 for a Switch. Interesting because Nintendo is not known for dropping the price of their consoles unless it's a state of emergency. Last generation, the Wii U actually launched at $350. Sales were slow, they dropped it to $300, and it stayed at $300. Um, pretty much from launch throughout the entire console cycle. Same thing for the 3DS. It was a high price. Nintendo dropped it once the sales were struggling at launch. And it stayed at that price for most of the console's um, cycle. So the fact that the Wii U stayed at 300 even though it only sold 13 million and the switch is at over 107 million. I do not. Then Nintendo has no reason 
why why would they drop the price of the switch and so crazy 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 stuff all right now on a more low point nintendo did have the indie showcase and it was straight trash <laughs> i mean if you were watching it you'd be like that dude over there in the corner mad tight upset it was a catastrophe there was not one game that i was excited for usually they have one or two surprises something that's dope but it was straight garbage that's it bro those are all the news items for today's video what do you guys think about everything everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we are out peace